Welcome to Open House Party and OHP Uncut. My name is Cannon. First off, I never beg people to follow me, but I'm going to start this one out by asking you to follow me on social at Cannon Radio, on IG at Cannon Radio, spelled Cannon with a K. We'd appreciate that so much. Here on YouTube, click subscribe. That's how you can win a virtual meet and greet with one of your favorite artists. To win those, we give those away from time to time. You have to be subscribed. So just click subscribe. It's simple. Boom. Subscribe. Now you're entered to win. All right. Today, Ashtray is on the show. His real name is Javon, uh, but we all know him by Ashtray from the show Euphoria. Is he going to be in season three? That's the question. Does he want to be in season three? He's got a lot going on. We're going to find out today. Uh, we're going to talk about his boxing career. MMA, is he, is he into that? Let's get into it with probably uh, the most uh, cared about character, probably the most in-demand, well-liked character on Euphoria, uh, especially in season two, Ashtray, Javon Walton on Open House Party in OHP Uncut. The OHP Uncut Podcast with Cannon. Javon, welcome. Man, thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Where are you? You got like a cinder block wall behind you. It looks like you might be in a prison of some kind. What is that? Nah, 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 nah. I'm just in my dad's office right now. I'm chilling. Oh. <laughs> talking to you. If that's where I'm at, it's shit lap. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you enjoying life right now, man? It must be pretty crazy. Honestly, I'm definitely enjoying life. I'm really blessed for what, what Euphoria has done for me so far. And overall, man, like I'm glad for the opportunities that I've been given. And why do you think you were given those opportunities? Uh, I don't want to say over other people to try to like diss other people, but what is it you bring to the table that you think landed you this role? Honestly, I think what really helped me is I've been working at this for a very long time. I've been boxing since a very young age and I've applied this work ethic like that I knew that I was going to do something one day, whether that be in the acting space or boxing space, I knew that I was going to do something big. And if, if you have that right mindset, it can take you anywhere. And once I applied that to myself and I kept working really hard and I was dedicated to that, I ended up, you know, doing what I did with Euphoria. you. Who instilled that work ethic in you? Man, I would definitely say myself, but my dad was a big inspiration of mine from a very young age. He's my coach. He's manager. He, he does, you know, he's, he's on my team and he'll always be on my team. That's what I love about him. Same with my mom, nope. my momager. When you were a, uh, your momager, <laughs> I love it. When you were uh, even younger and you were thinking about what you wanted to be when you grow up, you know, when you were in like in kindergarten, first grade, like when people said to you, what do you want to be when you grow up? The first thing that came to mind was boxing. That was it. That's, that was all I was set on. Um, I even remember in kindergarten class drawing pictures of me in the Olympics and like going to the Olympics and wanting to be at that stage in boxing. But man, like boxing is still um, something I really want to pursue for the rest of my life. And acting just came so randomly and I love it. So now that's another part of what I want to pursue. But it was really boxing from a young age. Yo, and you fell into it so good and you do such a good job. I mean, you obviously have like a unique gift. Uh, that, you know, other people can't do what you do. What do you think about MMA, by the way? Do you watch that too? Yeah, I watch MMA. It takes a lot, a lot of talent, but I'm just a traditional boxing guy. That's that's my stuff right there. What is it about boxing you like? I think what I like so much about boxing is to start off, you have to work super, super hard at that sport to be amazing at it. I mean, that comes with a lot of sports, but it's a lot of high talent at a high level. And I love the technique of it. It's like a dance when you're in the ring, you know, it's so technical. There's so many little things you have to think about. And I really like that aspect of it that you really have to, you know, in, in that respect, respect is a huge thing with the sport and yeah. you have to respect your opponent at all times. You got to respect the judge. You got to respect the ref. And I love that, that it's respectful win or loss. But what was it like the first time you got like knocked down hard? Like really hard, like to the point where you saw stars, were you thinking, oh man, maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe this isn't the right thing like that hurt. Well, I've never been knocked down. I've never been knocked down, but I've definitely taken some big hits. I've definitely taken some big hits. Um, and it doesn't feel good. No body shots hurt really bad. And, you know, face shots don't feel good either, but I've never been knocked down. 
So tell everyone that doesn't know how you made that transition in, into this, uh, you know, world of acting and then into this massive role. I was on the Steve Harvey show for boxing because I've been known in the boxing community for um, quite some time now. Um, uh, a casting director, uh, casting agent called me and her name was Jennifer Vendetti. She was talking to my parents and she was like, hey, do you want to try for this role called Euphoria? And my parents came back to me and they're like, do you want to try for it? And I was like, I don't even know. Like, this isn't even like something like I would even think of. <laughs> I ended up trying out for it and I got it immediately because I was like the only kid pronouncing the drug names right. I was, they liked my look <laughs> for it. They liked that I was smaller. Like they were going for an older kid, but they liked that I was smaller. So that's how I fell into the acting space. And they thought it felt authentic with me. I was the only one that could pronounce the drug names right. I don't know why. <laughs> look, look, I don't know why. Because the one that where people were struggling with was in the first episode. It was, I don't know if you remember, but it was like India so pro pill, five and Dr. Me. It was like that thing. Of course right? I remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the first time I've ever gotten that answer on why someone got a role, but that's pretty incredible. Good for you, it man. Just, no. <laughs> Thank you. So obviously congratulations on all the success. Um, and the only thing anyone wants to know is, is are you coming back for season three? What do you say about that? What I have to say about that is it's unclear. Look, I mean, you can't be dead, man. And you know, it never showed you dead. If there's somebody that can survive a bullet, it's definitely Astray. I uh, mean, this guy was killing people left and right. But not not only that, you only hear the gunshot and you hear the body drop. Right. You never see blood. You don't ever see the body. So there's there's things hinting at it that it could be back. But at the end of the day, it's all good if I don't come back. You know, I got other stuff I'm working on right now that I can't wait to uh, talk about. Um such as Samaritan dropping soon and Umbrella Academy, all of those things. But yeah, man, as it's all good if I don't come back. I love working with Sam though. It's all good if you don't come back, but if you could if you could choose, come back or not come back. I mean, yeah, I'd come back. If I could choose, I would definitely come back. Euphoria. <laughs> it's a really cool show. And it's fun playing a drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we hope you do come back, man. You become a fan favorite. What's it like on the street now for you? sometimes it's um it's interesting sometimes that like people are coming up to me and I'm just not used to all that but everybody is super sweet about it everybody has been really really nice and like I said earlier I'm just blessed for my fan base I'm really happy for you know what has <laughs> what has gone down with my fan base and everybody that's been supporting me before we roll we do like a top five or, or just a five random questions for uh for tiktok five random cool, for questions TikTok. cool number one what's the first app you go to in the morning tiktok what's your go-to fast food in and out if i'm in la you get it animal style yes and then i get like extra um of the in and out sauce or whatever it is it's so good did that in the fries bro yes. it's amazing i love it you don't have to tell me in and out tries, they need a little bit of something, but that sauce is exactly what they do need. Um, Astra, <laughs> Javon, who's your best friend in the world? My best friend is probably my twin. I'm so, so close with him. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe that there's another spiritual thing out there. I don't know. I'm not super deep in all that, but I don't know. I think there might be some like spiritual out there, but not ghosts. If you could spend the night with one fictional character. Who would it be and why? Oh, I love the shark tails, bro. Just the way she swims. Yeah. <laughs> and Elsa. And Elsa. I was going to say, I thought I read that you had a crush on Elsa. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> that's true, too. How could you not? <laughs> well, it could get cold. I'm just going to leave it at that. It could get cold. Yeah. <laughs> at all the wrong times and all the wrong places. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, Javon, thanks for your time, man. We really do appreciate you and congratulations yeah, on all I enjoyed success. being here. Have a good one, guys. The OHP Uncut Podcast with Canon.